Okay. How y'all doing? Um, I want to talk about the genders that people have, and I think it's detrimental to society. And I just think I want to also talk about the role of a black woman and the role of a black man. And I feel like back in the 50s or the 60s, whenever it was, I don't know the exact date, all the uh, these, these laws were passed for females' rights. And um, I think it snowballed effect. I think with female rights came with a certain agenda that women have to let the world know that they are equal to men. Okay. Now, if you have one group of people that has day rights, then here comes the gay rights. Then you have the gays, which is the LBGT community or whatever. You have these people wanting day rights and next thing you know, it's a, a epidemic. You know, it's almost like a drug epidemic where, you know, where you have certain communities that drug, this drug, written, and it's just, it's just, it's just so bad in these neighborhoods, and there's nobody doing nothing about it. But it's almost like world domination. It's like, okay, you have these people that has this agenda that wants equal rights, and it's like, it's affecting the very fabric of the world, and you, you wouldn't even believe how serious this is, like, like seriously, like, you have people on YouTube talking about um, all type of different topics, you know, they don't believe, uh, uh, is God real? Um, can you be born gay? Can, um, what else is it? I, I forgot what else it was. I give, I, I got a lot on my mind, but let me, let me say this. Let me say this. First of all, in the Bible, when he talks about, when they talk about marriage, they're not talking about a white wedding. They're not talking about walking down an aisle. That's just my belief. Anybody that looks at this video, you don't have to, you like, like, I'm just speaking from the heart. You don't have to go with what I say, but this is just my opinion. I don't think a marriage is about walking down an aisle, having a white wedding, having a best man, a uh, be, uh, 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 best best girl, and, and and throwing a flower over the head and whoever catches it go, gonna get hit next. I don't I don't think I don't think it's what God had intended for us. Oh, it's having a white wedding. That sounds funny, a white wedding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like seriously. And uh, I just think it's starting with all these agendas. And baby Maybe in actuality, it's 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 it's, it's, it's a fear of having a black planet, and this war on black people has been going on for so long, and the agenda is maybe to lock up all the black men, to have them all on drugs, to um, the police is killing all our children, you know what I'm saying? The church sit back, sits back. And and, and and it's not a major influence in none of these communities. You know, that's a whole nother story. But why, what I don't understand is why are, are all these agendas being pushed upon us and there's nobody saying nothing about it? It's on. It's in the movies. 
It's old news. You know, you have certain people running for office that's that's homosexual and proud of it. And they want it to be known that they're homosexual and they're running for office. But if you believe in God, and he says it in the scriptures, why... Me, I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. I, I, I don't understand it. You know, I struggle with a lot of things. I am human, but that's one thing that that I just don't understand. Like it's right in your face. You know, um, you have women in the church saying, "Hey, I want a voice. I want to be heard." And most females, most black women. They're not obedient, you know what I'm saying? They they gonna they gonna talk you down. Like if you say something, like if you say something to them, they gonna have an attitude if they don't agree with you, and 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 they gonna walk off, or they gonna argue with you, and you know, hey, if a man can do it, I can do it too. But I don't see no women. I don't see too many women lined up in the trying to be construction workers. I don't see too many women trying to line up to be doing no blacktop. See, they want they want they want the stage. They want, they want um, the recognition and be, to be seen and be heard, you know, and um, I don't know. And a lot of these pastors allow it. They allow a lot of homosexuality to, to, to uh, run rampant in the church. They let a lot of women be overvoiceful in the church. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. If you're a woman and you feel like that you want to preach or you want to be a pastor and you want to basically if you want to if you want to make a difference, why don't you just teach the kids? Why don't you go around your community and make a difference and gather all the kids up that you see that's not uh, uh, that's misled and, and make a difference like that? You know, I just I don't know. Um, another thing is, uh, it's a gender, it's a gender that's, um, let me see, my battery's going low, I should have charged my phone up, this is my first video, <laughs> but, um, you have, you have these agendas that's, that's threatening spirituality. It's, it's threatening humanity. I mean, you have homosexuals as far as um, what's what's the females called when they when they uh, want to be men? Like I've never seen anything like it. Like like you are you are you born a woman, but in your mind you want to be a man. I mean that, that. I mean, I'm not trying to judge nobody. I have, I have, I have, I have friends. That's how can I say a word? Dykes. I have friends that's dykes. You know, I don't judge them because who, who am I to judge them? I let you know, let God do it. I don't, you know, it ain't, it ain't even, it ain't even what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to persecute nobody because I'm not God, but. What's, what I don't understand is these agendas are being secretly put upon us at an early age, at a young age, and we don't even know it. And it's almost like a virus. Like, people want to know are we the same? Like we the same. I I don't spread hate, but no, nah, I don't think we the same. I don't like certain foods. I see other races that eat certain food. I be like, well, Dad, how do you eat this food? You know, I like my meat well done. Some people like they meat uh, bleeding and stuff like that. You know, I'm not about to eat no meat that's blood running out of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I kind of jumped off the topic. This is basically what I'm trying to say. You have people. Okay, let me say this. 
I'm going to show you, for example, I was on the job. I was on the job. And um, I've seen, like, Mexicans. I've seen Cubans. And I just sit back and watch them. And some Cubans, I'm talking about, almost look white as snow. I'm talking about damn near look like a white person until you get a close-up on them. Then you have some Cubans and Mexicans that look almost like me. I said, okay. I said, these people, these are like white people masking as another race. I said, okay. You have, you have an agenda that's put in, it's, I, think, I think it's in the genes. That's, and, that, and that's just me. I think being, being a godly person is in your genes. I think the agenda is being pushed through genetics. And I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on. This is just my introduct. This is just my introductory video. And I'm gonna come with with more videos. Look me up. Uh, super high. That's what I'm going by. You know. Um, but these agendas, these agendas are being pushed through genetics, and. Um, I basically think that TV, church, and society basically is secretly having a war against black people. And I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I'm just I'm just I'm just a truth seeker. I'm I'm non denominational. I'm a non denominational knowledge seeker. I'm not trying to shoot nobody else's knowledge down. You know, I'm not trying to argue with nobody. I just, you know, I'm just, I just like seeking the truth. Now, that being said, it's crazy out here, man. I mean, maybe the agenda is for all the fathers to be Caucasian. And to have a mimetic people that's walking around that's, that's, Almost black, but this, but, 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 but it's not quite black. You know, all the black people are being locked up. The drugs is all in the black community running rampant. All the liquor stores and the churches, the gas stations, they all owned by foreigners. They taking all the money. I'm talking about, do the math. It's like 7 million, between 7 and 20 million took off each corner. There's nobody doing nothing about it. Homosexuality, homosexuality is running rampant in the church. You know, what's the difference between a babble and a, a, a liquor bottle? I mean, yeah, they, it's, it's one, they, they both different. They both different, but are they the same? Look at the church, look at the liquor store. I'm not saying all churches is bad, but you know, this is my thing. Like, I just struggle with so much. But they say, if you search for knowledge, the truth will set you free. And I don't claim to know everything, but man, I'm I'm a pretty smart guy. I, you know, I know a lot, and I basically want to just compare notes with. With with other guys that's on YouTube, and uh, you know, I just want to see where I'm at with my stuff because I'm seeing these dudes on here. A lot of these dudes don't even know what the hell they talking about, man. You know, are we the same? Nah, we ain't the same. Shoot, if 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 I know I'm original, I ain't mixed with nothing. I mix with what I supposed to be mixed with, you know. Shoot, I can't keep a job. I can't even keep a job because every time I go on a job, he's 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 he's, he's devils on the job. I always find have a problem with me because I think they're intimidated by my 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 masculinity and my energy. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot a lot of people can't handle 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 certain certain people's energy. So what happens is, you know, they target you. 
So then you get, even in Hollywood, they want to demasculine, demasculinize the black person to make him more, um, to make him more appealing to, to white people. You know, you know, I have to talk a certain way, I have to walk a certain way to be accepted. Hell no, nah, I'm gonna be me. But it's 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 not racism. It's it's deeper than racism. It's no different from a sci-fi movie when the alien comes. He has to find a suitable host so he can latch on to him so he can survive. This stuff been going on. This stuff been going on. Like 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 seriously. Being a sodomite is in your genes. Being an Israelite is in your genes. You know, I'm not claiming to be Israelite. Only God knows. But I truly believe that I'm something other than African American. I know that. But what I'm saying is, man, people got to wake up. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Seriously, man. I mean, on something else, something else. They talking about, people talking about, uh, what was it, what was LeBron saying? Are we all one race? Uh, something like that. Are we different? Of course we different. We walk different. We think different. We dress different. So, of course we all different. We ain't nothing the same. We, we are not the same. We are not the same, man. I mean, just... I mean, one plus one is two. How are we going to be the same, bro? Look at us, bro. I don't got a white gene in me, man. What's this guy's name? Uh, I ain't going to say his name, man. But, man, y'all keep listening to these fools, man. Y'all going to go. Y'all going to get the wrong information. I'll make another video real soon, man. Super high.